I didn't dwell enough on light. I didn't tell you about how spiritual light is. Did I? No, could you? See, you, think, you, you put it in that drawer along with the thing that physics deals with as being just physics. But that was the most interesting thing to me almost in the whole thing when I found I had to have something at stage one and I didn't know what it was. And it wasn't for quite a while that I, you know, found out about quantum theory. This is all since I was in college that this has developed, so I had to relearn physics. And in relearning physics, I found that everything hangs on the photon. The photon is this unit of action that cannot be subdivided. Uh, you don't have one and a half actions. It's just like human action or human decision. You can't lean out a window one and a half times. You can't drop the chalk one and a half times. It's one thing or nothing. It's very natural to think of that, of, that way about matter. Matter will eventually be broken down into little bits and you can't get any smaller. But when you think of action as ultimately quantized, uh, it's not so easy, but that is just as important. And that's what Planck discovered about light, that it comes in whole units, or quanta. And these quanta are very universal in their function. Everything that happens between these particles that we talk about, billiard balls, atoms, what have you, everything that happens between them is in the form of photons or light. It's not just communication of one atom to another, or one molecule to another, or a starch molecule to creating energy, or a plant taking light to create starch. It's the creation of particles themselves, and that's part of the physics. I don't want to burden you with it, but what's called pair creation is when a photon creates a particle. So to sum it up, the, 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 the photon has a very primary role. Now, why is it spiritual? It's spiritual because it has none of the properties that uh, matter possesses. It doesn't have mass. It doesn't have charge. It doesn't have position. It doesn't have time. It's outside of time stop at the speed of light. has no position because uh, you couldn't possibly uh, locate it. I think the most interesting thing of all about the photon is that only one person can see it. See, there's po light pouring in on me, and you're all seeing me, and you're all seeing the photons. But the photons that one of you sees is not the same as the photons the other one sees. Only one person is seeing each photon. Because when you see a photon, you annihilate it. See, if you see the chalk, you say, one says, I see the chalk. Actually, you're seeing the light that's reflected from the chalk, and the chalk stays there. But if you saw the light, the photons, they wouldn't exist anymore. Because they don't exist anymore, they're a complete uncertainty. You couldn't predict them. So here's the unpredictable and an immaterial, and it's at num in place number one, and it's also responsible, responsible for the creation of matter and all the interchanges between matter. I've had quite a struggle with physicists on this because they like to say the photon is, is just another particle.